All right, Flatmire Mechanic here, and in this video, I am going to show you the most common cause of a P0101 mass airflow volume or mass of volume airflow A circuit range performance or um, mass air volume range performance. And this one looks like it also has a pending P0113 intake air temperature sensor. Now, both of these sensors are incorporated into the mass airflow sensor on most vehicles. Um, as is the case on this Nissan. But basically what's going on with this one is they're were they were complaining of an intermittent check engine light. Right now the check engine light actually isn't on at all. So um, basically what you're telling me is that both these sensors are working properly. I did um, run down through the diagnostic data and everything appears to be normal, which I kind of suspected seeing how these codes are uh, not current. But basically a lot of times what happens is these mass airflow sensors is they can just get some garbage caught on there from, um, you know, just dust in the air or a dirty air filter or whatnot. They do sell mass airflow sensor cleaner. Um, so if you get these codes, either one of these codes, you're going to want to try the mass airflow sensor cleaner first. And uh, let me show you what that looks like and what the mass airflow sensor itself looks like. Um, this is the actual mass airflow sensor, and they have heated elements inside of there, as you can see. Those elements actually heat up, and they collect a lot of dirt and dust and debris pretty easily. So, um, and the, they sell this uh, mass airflow sensor cleaner. You just want to spray it on those uh, heated elements in there, and that will clean those up. But definitely a quick, uh, cheap way to um, try and repair this problem before actually having to replace this. These can be pretty pricey. And typically these are found right after the air filter in the air box. Um, on this Nissan, we have our air box here. So you just follow this air tube into where it actually goes into the motor here. And this is where the mass airflow sensor is located. There's just a couple of screws. Go ahead and pop this sucker up. Just when you reinstall it, make sure you have it in the right direction. Um, there's typically going to be an arrow. Or just uh, pay attention when you remove it. And just go ahead and clean it up with some mass airflow sensor cleaner, reinstall it, and clear the codes. But uh, hope this video was helpful. Be sure to um, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the Flat Rate Mechanic if you haven't already. I will leave a link in the video description below where you can find the mass airflow sensor cleaner.